Hi everybody, today uh, I want to show you guys how to do a automatic transmission fluid change on a 06 Honda CRV. This is the same for all the second generation uh, and two and a half generation uh, Honda CRVs out there. Uh, it's really pretty simple, all you need are a few main things. First thing you need here, you need a funnel with a uh, some kind of bendy apparatus, it can be a hose, it can be jerry-rigged with your own hosing, whatever. You obviously need the fluid, right? And uh, a single fill is supposedly three quarts, right? So I just bought myself a case of it. I've got two of uh, these generation two and a halves if I need more. Uh, you need a three eighths inch breaker bar to break the drain plug loose. You need some uh, gloves. You don't want to get transmission fluid on your hands. And you need something to catch the old fluid, right? So. We'll get started, pop the hood, and uh, I'll show you where everything is. So if you're looking to change the automatic transmission fluid, you're probably close to about 100,000 miles, maybe 180, something like that. Uh, I'm changing mine because I have a lot more hours on the vehicle than miles. The hours to run is a better estimate of actual wear and tear on the vehicle. So I'm at about 160. I probably should have done this a while ago. So the transmission dipstick lives here on the right side of the engine behind the battery. So your setup will a little, look a little different than mine since I have a, uh, a uh, battery isolator installed here and there's a bunch more wires, but basically uh, you're just down in here behind the battery. So straight down in behind, see where that uh, new negative battery terminal wire is down here? Just past that and let me get some light on that. So now I have some light on it. You can see just in here past the battery terminal down there, there's that plug. Let's zoom in on it, see if I can get better light. There we go. So there's our dipstick with the yellow handle. Automatic transmission fluid dipsticks are usually yellow. Can't really see behind that wire, sorry, but it's there. I'll show you once it's out make more sense. So easy peasy, it just pulls right out. And you can see my fluid is a little bit dirty right there. Actually, if we put it with a white background, you might be able to tell a little better. Maybe not. So my fluid's a little dirty. Uh, good time to change it. So these transmissions work where you actually fill the transmission through the dipstick hole, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is, so that's why we need that weird curvy funnel to get down in there without pouring transmission oil all over our engine. So I've now got my funnel in there, nothing particularly complicated about it. You can see it goes right down there into the transmission dipstick hole. So that's how we're gonna fill it, and now we're gonna go under the car and break loose the uh, drain plug. So the drain bolt is about here in the middle, so it's right uh, just past where that flashlight is laying, right? So you don't need to jack this car up. I'm not a little dude and I can squeeze my way under there. Not a big deal, so I'll show you exactly where that bolt is. Okay, so we're under the car here. You can see the bottom of the transmission. We have this green plastic clip here holding this fascia on. A lot of people like to take that off, but uh, your bolt is really just right here. So this is your fill bolt just past the corner of this little thing here. So just break this loose here with our breaker bar and we're draining. So make sure you have your uh, reservoir handy when you get under here. So getting this loose can be a little challenging. Um, sometimes they're torqued on right. Sometimes if you didn't do it before person who did it was a gorilla or some sort of shit but you just basically break this bolt loose and it was a gorilla there we go listen to my uh, bolt breaking noises but we're loose now Pop that out, and then we can just ensure our thing is in position and let it rip.
So you can see that's pretty dirty. The fluid itself is that uh, sort of Honda enclosed machinery red, <laughs> I guess I'd call it. Like a, like a red ale. So, at the end of this thing, you have all this weird sort of muck. I don't know if you can see that. I'll take it out in the light. Those are little metal shavings from the transmission. I don't look like I have too many, which is a good sign. So I'm gonna let that drain and I'll show you this plug. So after bringing this thing out into the light here, you can see I actually do have uh, quite a bit of shavings on here. Um, I'm gonna set it down and uh, wipe these off and I'll show you how it looks after. So here's what this ended up looking like uh, after it was cleaned. See all the metal shavings on the paper towel and this nice clean magnet here. Also, you got this uh, crush washer here on the end. I believe this is the same size crush washer as for the rear differential. So, they are unfortunately not the same. Here's the rear differential. And below is the automatic transmission fluid one. So, I need to get a crush washer that is the right size. So back under the car now, everything's drained. Just getting a little bit of drip. That's okay, because we gotta do this three times, right? So the recommended interval for this is a uh, 3X drain and fill. So I'm just gonna use my old crush washer. We're gonna close this back up. And then we're gonna go up top. I'm just gonna do this snug here. We're gonna go up top and fill her up. So the reason for the three X drain and fill, so we don't actually flush all of the, well, flush so to speak. We don't actually uh, get all of the old oil out of the system. So unfortunately we have to sacrifice these bottles of uh, new oil to get the old ones out. So you can see that's a nice red ale color. Goes down the funnel kind of slow. But we should be able to add about three of these. Then we'll check it on the dipstick and uh, see what's going on. <clears throat> I've added three. Got my dipstick all cleaned off. And we're going to see how we're doing here. So make sure that dipstick sits in there correctly. It should go all the way down and feel like it's snug. So, you should be able to see this here. Get some light on it. Yeah, it's not focused, but see we're right up almost back to full. So we could probably add a little more, but uh, I am going to just replace it. So now that we've got our first round of oil in there, we're gonna start up the car and uh, run it through each of the gears just to try and integrate that oil into the old oil so we're doing a better job of changing these fluids. All right, here we are inside the vehicle. We're gonna start her up. Turn on these indicators here so you can see them. Set this right in there. And we are going to cycle our way through everything. Make sure you have your parking brake on and your foot on the brake. I'm doing both. So do this three or four times until you feel it's shifted into each. All right, so now that uh, that is done, I'm going to uh, drain it and fill it again. So it's a three X drain and fill, so I've got two more times. So it means you're gonna need nine bottles of these for uh, each car, which uh, 
seems like a lot. It's not particularly expensive. I think this case was about 50 bucks. I know at the dealership they charge about 130 to 200 dollars to do this. So I'm ready now to put my last uh, three quarts in. It's still draining a little bit. You can see though that this fluid is a lot brighter red, much cleaner. So I'm just going to put my bolt back in. I've uh, swapped up this uh, crush washer here. This thing back in. Get it's hand tight here. We'll tighten in a sec, but just want to clean up this area here first. Get as much of this fluid off of here as I can. Let's see if we can give this a good uh, tight. I'm not exactly sure of the torque specs on this, but it is an aluminum transmission, so you will strip it if you tighten it too tight. But uh, we got this relatively short breaker bar here, and I'm just gonna get it pretty snug here, just so enough that the uh, crush washer starts to crush. There we go. I'm pretty comfortable that that's not uh, coming out. And then fill her up, check the dipstick, we'll be done. So the last thing you need to do here is clean up any drips or drops left from your funnel. I just filled it up the last time. So put exactly three quarts in there after letting it drain. And we'll double check our dipstick. Beautiful. So you can see here, we're right back up to the top. Ready to rock. So <clears throat> this fluid is now a nice luxurious red color from a nasty, pretty putrid looking brown. So uh, make sure you get your dipstick back in the hole. You'll be ready to go. Easy enough to do at home. Just a few tools. Nice. Uh, nine empty bottles of uh, <laughs> fluid there, and some gloves and uh, paper towel. All right, good luck guys.